answer is no. Mm. When I wanna be alone. Make that make sense for me. It is very unassuming. On amore. Is this Hermes? I don't know. It slows down the momentum. And why would somebody do this? It's rude. Every time I'm with you. Yo, what up? Good morning. I have been taking it easy today. Last night I slept at 11 something because I was finishing up something that's due today. And. Then this morning I was putting together some giveaway packages for folks. And let's see, just cleaning up. I don't like a lot of mess in my studio, although I still have a lot of stuff on the floor. I need to find spaces for them, all the things. I have some <laughs> mail that I am remiss to even share. Has been in my mailbox for a very long time. When I go to the post office to check my PO box, I don't check the actual mailbox because I don't expect to receive anything in the mailbox well lo and behold i have one two three pieces of mail that have been here for a very long time and i want to just say first of all thank you in, in ahead of me opening everything up thank you to those of you who even sent these pieces of mail they went into my mailbox that i don't ever check it because i don't expect anything well now i will be sure to check it on occasion in case there is something in there like what i have here i'm just blown away and like sick about it because i just can't believe it so the first is, an, is a card from Hyacinth. She did mention that she sent something out there. When? I didn't, girl, this is from July. This is insane. Oh, blessed are the givers. How sweet. Thank you. Minna, I just wanted to say thank you for, oh, my eyes itchy, for who you are and what you do for us. Oh, hiya. Oh, I love that. And they're grateful. Wait, so, okay, so it says, blessed are the givers and grateful are the receivers. Aww. Thanks so much. And there's a verse, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you. We give God the glory. <clears throat> Honest to God. That is so sweet. That is so sweet. I am so grateful, girl. Thank you. And again, my apologies that it took so long. This is insane. All right, I have another card. This is really thoughtful. You know, people you, you don't have to do this. It says, thanks. Hey, Minna. Thank you so much for the makeup. Wow, a card because I had sent her makeup. I knew the address was familiar. That is very nice. I love that. Thank you so much for the makeup. I appreciate your act of kindness. By the way, I'm sub to your channel. Enjoy your content. Oh, thank you, girl. Oh, I appreciate that so much. This is from T. Bomar. I forget the first name, but I can't think of it right now. T. Bomar. Wow, thank you so much. And then I have another small gift and a card. Oh, God, where's the name? Shoot. I threw the box away. Oh, this is a Okay, Marsha. Here it is. Oh, my gosh. This is so long. Should I read it out loud? Hold on. I don't know. Should I? Yeah, okay. Maybe I should. I don't know. I don't know if I should be doing this or not. Hey, Mina, thank you so much for all you do for us on social media, YouTube, IG, and Amazon. Thank you for your transparency and your vulnerability. In your worship of the King of Kings, I appreciate the way you make it known unapologetic. Make him known un unapologetically. Oh, I so look forward to each video. You're like the sister we all wish we had, and always look forward to hear from. My goodness, I wanted to send you a bottle of my favorite musk oil. I've been wearing this since 1974. Yep, it's my go-to year-round. I hope you like it as much as I do. The dry down is not like it smells upon application, okay? So dry down is different. Let me know if you like it or hate it, okay? Merry Christmas. Oh, this is from Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and your family, Marsha. Oh, how sweet. Oh my goodness. I'm, mind you, I'm keeping all of these cards, okay? This is so sweet. Okay, so it's a skin musk oil and it's it's a parfum so it's yeah it's an oil it lasts long and it's just a musk so this tells me that this can be mixed with others or just one by itself let's see what we check them out uh oh thank god it was just some plastic oh, i'm so rough with open things god i'm gonna see all right what are we talking about girl oh you know me so well i do love me a good musk hold on let me put it right here I know we shouldn't mix it, but I just, I want to mix it so it's not just sitting there. I mean, blend it, sorry. Yeah, it's an oil. This is so good. Skin Musk Perfume Oil. Oh my God, I need more of this. This is very unique. 
it's very unique. This is it right here. It is very unassuming. Distributed by PDC brand, Stanford, Connecticut. What? Five ounces, honey, what? And what I love is you can put it right here. When my husband leaves and he smells me, I'm gonna see what he says. Yes, you don't need a lot. It is musk. Yes, it is very musk. Now that I have it on, I feel like I could have used less. It is giving me grown and sexy. Interesting. Yeah, it kind of has a baby scent powder, baby powder scent to it, but definitely musk. If you do not like musk, then this is not for you. But this is great. It's very unique. What are the notes? Let me see. What does it say? Skin musk is a clean, fresh, sexy. It's clean, fresh, and sexy. Let the soft aroma of florals, sandalwood, and musk. Okay. Wow. The dry down is good. It is giving me grown and sexy. It is not giving me young lady. It's giving me mature sexy. And musks really do that anyway. I love this so much, Marsha. Listen, you know what I need, baby. I got what you want. I got what you want. You know what I need, baby. I don't need a lot of this. This is good. Ooh, I love your good musk. It's strong. You're right. The dry down is changing. Oh my God, it's really smelling like a floral. Look at me, I'm like dancing. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be smelling myself all day. This is insane. This is insane. I got to put this right here. This is insane. This is insanity. Thank you so much. Wow. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. Thank you, Lord. I'm grateful. I love it. Thank you, everybody. Wow. I can't even get over it. I love this so much. Now, I recognize that this is a very unusual sighting. I rarely sit on the couch. I rarely relax. <laughs> very rarely do that. But today is just one of, it's just one of those days when I want to be all alone. It's just one of them days. That I gotta be all alone is just one of them days. No, but I just decided last night that I was gonna change today to rest because I deserve it. Uh, nothing is pressing and it's good to just relax. So that's what I'm doing right now. I seasoned some wings yesterday and they've been in the fridge. So I just put them in the air fryer. That's cooking. They're gonna be so good. I set out the tray for my ranch dressing and I have broccoli already made so I'll have that as my veggie well, oh I cannot wait to eat these wings they're gonna be so good and you know I just use an assortment of seasonings like what in the world I'm actually very sleepy but you know me it's daytime how do I sleep during the daytime I do want to watch a movie though I want to do things that I don't normally do I'm always working working I always feel like there's just there's just stuff that needs to be done there's always there are always things that need to be done but we also need to rest. So let me see what's on Netflix. I don't be watching movies, man. I be busy. I like to get stuff done. What is this? What is what are some Netflix movies y'all be watching? What is this? Whenever we're on the phone, always on the go. Like you got a place to be, never on your own. I am so tired. <laughs> so I didn't even tell you, but. My word for the year is discipline <sighs> because I need to be more disciplined in everything that I do, namely in working out and my health in general. So last night, for instance, when I went to bed, I was like, you know what, when my alarm goes off, I'm getting up. You know that I watched, I read the book Miracle Morning and it talked about that being one of the main ways to do what you need to do in the morning is just get up when the alarm goes off. Not all the snoozing, it's just dumb. And when I have freshly read the book, I was really having some good momentum with all of it. But just like with many things, it's easy to fall back and then realize, oh, whatever happened to me doing X, Y, Z? Oh. Was this has this been on? Oh my god. I'm putting on my heated blanket. I'm like, has this been on? Jesus Leo. Oh my gosh. So
so I got up and mind you last night I went to bed around 11 and that's not ideal okay that's not the way to get up early by going to bed late that is not the move but I actually fell asleep early because I was tired <laughs> I was on a couch and I fell asleep maybe I don't even know it could have been five or it could have been six I don't know five ish and then I got up around seven and then I was like, just groggy sleeping before my bedtime does not give me energy it makes me groggy so I was even more tired so I went to lay down and you know I, I we've, we've talked about this I'm not one to rest much although yesterday I did take it easy but in general I'm a doer I'm like I gotta do this I gotta do that this needs to be done that needs to be done I don't rest often but anyway every now and then I force myself to do it so I did that but then when I got up I was like I don't want to sleep again I wasn't ready to sleep again so I was just watching some videos and next thing you know it was 10 something almost 11 so that's how that went and then I said you know what I'm getting up tomorrow my alarm goes off regardless so I'm not even gonna think about it so the minute I heard my alarm making all this noise I just ripped the covers off of me and I got up and I can't lie some days when I sleep late when I get up I feel like I have more energy than when I sleep a long time I don't know what that means so I just got up brushed my teeth and I came into the living room and before I went to bed with you this is part of the book Miracle Morning is I made up my mind what I was going to do so then when you get up and so then when I get up it's not okay what do I do first it wastes time and it it slows down the momentum so I got up and I had already known that I was going to work out first it's better to do the hardest thing first because honestly when I think about it when I come and sit here it relaxes me then I read and I, I watch and do all this stuff and then I go do my work and I'm in a relaxed state sort of while I'm doing these things so then to get up and go be jumping and moving I don't want to do that like <laughs> my 5 a.m. alarm I have two alarms just in case so I don't want to do that so I said you know what let me just do the hardest thing first which is the workout so I worked out first and I feel drowsy I really do and I want to go back to bed right now I really do but <clears throat> I need to stay awake because then it's gonna throw my whole morning off so here I am and I'm about to I like to start up with the Bible app and look at what they got going on for today and then if I have the energy I'll do some of my Bible study the Elijah Bible study but that's so deep that I don't that's not something that I just do when I'm I need to be fully coherent to actually do that Bible study so I'm going to today because I'm really tired I'm not tired 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 and sleepy are different I'm sleeping so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do the Bible study in here and then go on the computer and edit the vlog. I recorded a talking video yesterday, no, a few days ago, for IG, and it's been a while since I've done that, and I actually had fun recording it, and I had fun editing it. It seemed very easy and just smooth and just seamless. I'm gonna see how that performs to see if I should go back to talking tutorial style videos for Instagram, so. If you see it and you like it, comment and let me know so I can know what the deal is, okay? But yeah, man, you know, I can go to sleep right now. And there have been times where I've just laid down on this floor and slept. Like right after the workout like this, and I'm just like, I can't. Oh my God, help me stay awake because I'm about to lay down on this floor. And my heated blanket is activated like the whole spirit. Mm. Mm. This 4 a.m. is not easy. I just want that to be clear. It's worth it. It's not always easy. And that's the point. Discipline. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, I decided that I want to put a makeup kit in my bathroom. This way I can do my makeup even when I'm not filming and I can do it easily in my bathroom, obviously. So I put, I just grabbed this clear container, put a sponge in there and I need to just get a few standard things. So one for instance is a primer. I would say I'm going to need my liquid highlight. What kind of primer should I put in here? I've been liking the high... Oh, these are setting. Wait, these are sprays? Oh, this is the set and refresh. I like it because it makes my face dewy after I'm done. So, not any sending me screen time requests. I can't even deal with him. Okay, so I am going to use that. Oh, actually, I do like this 
to. I don't like to open stuff when I have a lot of things that are un unused or unfinished. So let me just use that one. Okay, primer. That's not a primer drawer. Is this a primer drawer? Kind of? No. Wait. I want to find Milk Hydro Grip. This is all... No, I have so much stuff. It's like insane. Okay. I thought I had an extra Milk Hydro Grip. Okay, let me just do Luminous Silk because I am on the dehydrated side these days. So I'm going to organize this too nicely. So I'm going to go by primer and then foundation. There's my foundation. Okay, so foundation. Let's see. Mm, what should I put? This Was this my color? Some of these aren't my exact color and I, I don't be remembering what's what. Okay, I think this was. I'm going to try it out today. If it's not, I'll know. I'll know today. So there's that. Then we need concealer. Concealers are up here. Uh, I don't have very many because, you know, I cleared things out. This one is not very light. But this one, this one is light. Let me just take the two of them just in case. Because you just never know. Need some sort of cream contour product. What do I like? Uh, okay, I'll use I was I was using Huda for a long time to cream contour and then setting powder. Setting powder will be over here. I can use by Terry. I have enjoyed this. This is just stuff that I'm just not using currently. Said so I'm going by the steps of when I do my face. So setting powder, then I set my contour. And I know that there's a uh, I will take this out as my face powder. There's a contour, oh, it's a closest one, isn't it? Not velvety. Is it this one that I like to set my, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it is velvety, hold on. Is it velvety? Or do I like to use... I love this face powder. From one size, dark four. This will be my face hot. I'm gonna take this pro smooth out. But to set my contour, what am I using? What am I using for the contour? I think it is velvety. Okay, velvety. And let's see. After I set my contour, then I do my highlight. After my highlight, I do blush. So. Let's see what the blush talking about over here. Did I like these putty blushes? I can't even remember. I don't even know what's what right now. Did I like them? Did it dry down? I'm going to try it out today. Did these dry down matte? I cannot remember. Let me try these today again. I really don't even remember what I liked, what I felt about it. All right, blush. Then we need brow, brow product right up in here, brow cheat, and then concealer to clean everything. I can just use the liquid concealer to clean things up because I used to do that back in the day. I just stopped liquid concealer to clean things up, setting powder I already have, eyeshadow primer. If I'm doing makeup in my bathroom, I'm not doing any serious looks, so I could just use my powder as my eyeshadow. Eyeliner, black eyeliner, need that. So I'll just use this on top and bottom. Mascara, you know I gotta have my lawless one and done for the bottom. And then I need to have lash glue. I have lashes in my bathroom. Oh, lip primer, cannot forget that, hello. And then regular mascara, I'll just take this Lash Freak. And then let's see, oh, inner eye highlight, inner eye, uh, well, okay, I'll need an eyeshadow palette just because I need to highlight my inner eye. This is my nude palette-ish, nude-ish palette area. I'll just take this one. I like this one a lot. You know that. And I, 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 oh, and then lip. I guess I'm done. And then, then the setting spray is right here. So lip. Let's see. I have so many. So lip pencil. We need lip. I'm like confused. Okay. I like to use a lip, liquid lip stain as a lip liner. You know that already. I'll just get one standard lip that I plan to use. Let's see. 
so many nudes as you can see here what's this nars one i've never worn this one have i that looks really cute i want to wear stuff that i don't get around to it's just like this is so much which one is this oh that's a cute little fenty situation oh is that makeup on my finger now it is all right well let's see I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, here, I'll take this gloss. This is really, really dark. Oh, wait, no. Like to see it? No, is it like to see it? I thought this was chocolate chip. This is so dark. I think too dark for a liner. But of course, I just want I just want it to be a nude that I take. Chai Genius is always so good. Oh, look at me. Okay, I'm taking Chai Genius and this Fenty. And now I need a lip stain or some sort of lipstick to use as a lip liner so what's that gonna be this is my overflow I've, and i have more like i just have a lot I've more over there uh i need something like i have lip pencils and stuff like i don't have that many lip pencils but i know i have some of them i don't know where they at this is cute this nude right here i'll put this here too i need some I need a brown I need some sort of, is Cam Mario? No, Cam is not a brown. Hmm. What color is this? I think this is red. Is this pink? Ah, uh, it's pink. Okay. Need, this is purple. I could do a purple for my nude around. Nope, this is nude. <laughs> See, I, I just wish that these colors corresponded. Like, that's confusing to me. All right, and then I'll do brushes in a second. I'll do brushes in a second, but I need that lip stain color, like something. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. As time goes, your business does change, but that brought me to this course because... Yo, so I just left BMW and I, I stopped in. I didn't make an appointment. I just said, you know, let me just roll up in there because come on now, I gotta BMW for God's sake. You know what I'm saying? Somehow, some way. The cover to my passenger side mirror is missing. I don't understand. Maybe somebody hit my car. I don't know if they tried to take it off and steal it. I really don't understand. And I noticed it. When I noticed it, I don't believe that was the day it happened. That's just my guess because I would expect to see the side view mirror on the, the cover on the floor, which I didn't. So I want to say that it happened another time. That's just what I want to say, but I don't know for sure. So I discovered that and I'm like, what the heck? How did this happen? Why would somebody do this? I don't know the answer to how that happened, but I do know that now I have to pay for it because although I have the bumper to bumper warranty, praise Jehovah, it doesn't cover things being missing or stolen, honey. And it's not enough to file an insurance claim and pay the deductible. So I just paid for it because the wires behind the side view mirror are just sticking out. That can't be, that can't be safe. Granted, thank God I park in the garage, so it's not gonna. Did it rain yesterday? Did I go anywhere? Ooh, it did sprinkle yesterday. Ooh, that didn't even dawn on me. Ooh, I did drive, not too far, but I did drive. I, 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 I forgot because I can't see it from here. So I had to order that, and I'm just like, what? What do you mean? What do you mean a random three hundred fifty dollars that I didn't think I had to pay for? Okay, so. There you go. Luxury car, luxury cost, luxury fees. That's just how life goes, right? Morning went well. I had a coffee meeting this morning that went really well. And then this, and now I'm going home. I need to get some work done. Ideally, I would have started earlier. You know how it goes. I've told you before, my energy is best in the morning. Once I eat, it's like, Ugh, what energy? But I have stuff I need to do. So it's like, okay, I'm gonna go home and figure that whole thing out. <clears throat> I wanted to work out, but I didn't get up. I didn't get up early enough. I... Yeah, I have a cold, so I'm just I'm just keeping it real low key right now. I need some water. My mouth feels dry. But yeah, I just cannot believe that three hundred and fifty dollars for the cover of a side view mirror. Jeez, <laughs> yo, when you be wanting to get a luxury car, you gotta be ready to pay for the luxury prices. Okay, that's just how things go, baby. Yo, who remembers Anamore? Anamore fragrance. Lisa Alamola posted about it on social the other day and I was like, oh my god, Anamore fragrance is so nostalgic. I think this was my first fragrance, no, my first fragrance I believe was from, oh, what's that company called? It's an MLM, Avon. My first fragrance was from Avon, it was. But then I got Anamore from, I want to say Macy's or something like that. And 
I just haven't heard of it, thought about it since. And she posted about it and I was like, oh my God, that was the OG fragrance. Let me spray it. This is the blue one, so it's the EDP. Here's the box. Is this nostalgic or what? Did you ever have this? Oh my God. Wow, Anamore. Yes, it is bringing back memories. I'm reminded, this is so good. This is me as a teenager. I remember this very, very much. Wow, Anamore. What? What are the notes? Is it even on here? I don't even think this is a one fluid ounce. I don't even think this is sold in stores. I don't know. I've never looked for it. But Anamore. Oh, why aren't you focusing? You're annoying. Here you go. I mean, it's all see through. Wow, this is so good. Uh, the packaging is so basic, but this is so good. It's French, baby. Ooh, we don't have notes on here. You know, it never dawned on me that fragrances are flammable, flammable, but it makes sense because alcohol is flammable, noted by my, evidenced by my fire pit outside that literally only uses alcohol and a flame. Wow, so good. Okay, I'm glad I got that. Just eat, finish, I just finished eating my lunch and it included this, these ratio keto yogurts. Ever tried this? It's really good. Like, really good. And I put almonds in it. So that was good. And then I had a, I had an egg and cheese sandwich. Mmm, I put peppers, spinach, cheese, the cheese, seasoning. Wow. Look at me, I am scraping the inside of it. That's how good this is. Black cherry, it's really good. Oh my gosh, oh! <laughs> I found this case. Is this Hermes? I don't know. <laughs> I found this case on Etsy. Isn't it the cutest? It's an iPad case, uh, excuse me, an AirPod case. Now my AirPod does have my name on it. I got it engraved for free at Apple. This is dirty, ew. My AirPod case is mad dirty, gross. But isn't this so cute? It's bigger than I thought it was gonna be, but I understand why. And there is a section, a little hole down here to charge it. I don't see myself hooking this onto anything, but I like that it's gonna just stand up like this. That is so, f <gasps> that is so funny and so cute. You know, whatever. It's not, it makes it bigger. So you can't just shove this in your purse. It's mad big. I only use my AirPods at home though. I don't use these outside because I have a different earpiece from an earpiece set from Amazon. I use these at home. What I love about this, I think I told you this, is that it connects so easily to my laptop, to my computer, to my phone, which is just great. The other ones you got to unpair, pair, girl, it's just too much. This little case is cute though, but it, you can easily just take this cover off and take the bottom off. But you know, the AirPod just goes right inside here. Etsy girl, look on Etsy, baby. Go on look on Etsy, honey. Jesus, let me go. All right, so here we are. Oh, Charlotte. All I said was, Jesus, let me go. Here we are. No one's talking to you. No one's talking to you. No one's talking to her. Charlotte Tilbury sent me their foundation. This is foundation? Yep. Beautiful skin foundation. Haven't looked at it. Haven't opened it. Nothing. But I will film with this tomorrow. I have my NARS video going up. Make sure you watch. You, I mean, by the time you see this, you should have already watched it. Like, hello. Make sure you do that. Like, hello. Mm -hmm. Like, praise the Lord. What is this? You know, I, I just get so... I don't understand when in 2022 brands, these usually small brands, and I understand people, people don't realize that influencers are, if you have an LLC, are small businesses. I am a small business owner. So when people reach out and say stuff like, in layman's, in layman's terms, or my paraphrasing would be, can you help a small business, basically? Can I send you free stuff and you talk about it? Or can you post about it? Or can you repost this? Can you redo that? It's like, yo, I'm a small business. Like, what you mean? You see what I'm saying? I, I just don't understand. You want another small business to help your small business for free. So you want me to help you for free when... Me helping you could potentially lead to you making sales, but when I helped you, I made nothing. Okay, make that make sense for me.
that's that's really what it is. Many people don't realize these are small businesses, startups, what have you. People need to understand that I, this may not be for every influencer in the world, but I have registered my LLC. I am a, I am a small business owner. Therefore, I file business taxes. I am a small business owner, okay? So when I'm working, I'm also a small business. So to me, it's a slap in the face to be like, oh, let me use your valuable time so that you can do content for me so that I can make money all the while I just gave you a lipstick or something. I'm just saying as an example. It's rude. Now, if you want to compare us making organic content for multi million dollar business as well there's a trade-off and the trade-off is we work and then you get the attention of these businesses and then somewhere down the line you end up having some sort of campaign or partnership with them so there's a trade-off ain't gonna be no trade-off when you're talking about small business to small business it's not enough to accept a necklace or you know I don't know it's any random thing it's not enough it's not gonna pay the bills thank God I can afford to buy the stuff outright and there have been times where I've been like listen I'll buy the product because I think it's great it's pretty cool I'm gonna try it out whatever but I'm not going to take this barter on I'm just not going to now you'll find some people who will do some pro bono work like, like lawyers they'll do some pro bono work per month maybe they'll have a cap or what have you i'm not at that point you see what i'm saying i got a business to run you feel what i'm saying and the time that i take to be doing xyz for abc i could be putting into building my empire do you understand it just doesn't make the sense for me so it's one thing to send something oh i got crust this is one thing to send something as a gift and I always like to make sure I clarify what is your expectation for this because if you're expecting deliverables like me to do certain kind of work it's just not going to happen because I don't work for free. Influencers have said this for so long or maybe I mean I mean I, yeah I, I see people talk about it all the time. We're not working for free like Hats off to anyone starting their small business right now. Hats off to everybody because I have a small business. But I don't work for free. So if I genuinely see something and I repost it, boom. You see, in my, in my what you call it? Oh, why is this working? In my jewelry video, my jewelry haul, jewelry haul video, I featured a ring that I purchased from a small business. I had seen the ad online. She's in Dallas, black owned. And I was like, that ring is beautiful. And I wear it. So in my jewelry video, I featured the ring. I've never spoken to her. I don't know her. Nothing. I featured it because I love the ring and I genuinely wanted to feature it. Now, if she had not, let's not put it, let me not say her because I don't know her and God bless her. I don't want to sound like I'm attacking anybody. But let's just say somebody was like, oh, can I send you so-and-so? And then you add it into a video just, you know, to help out my business. No, the answer is no. You know why? Because I am a small business trying to help out my small business. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense. What is in it for me? A new pair of sunglasses? No. If I like the sunglasses, baby, I will send you the $15, $25 for them and sew into your business that way. If I generally have something that I, and I purchased that ring myself, but if I generally purchase something or if I receive something and I genuinely like it, fine. That's why I always, I'm always open. If you want to send it as a gift, fine. Send it as a gift. I am grateful. But if I never talk about it or I never post about it, you can't be upset because why? It was a gift. I have a lot of things that I do not talk about because number one, I might not want to, I might forget, it might not come up. It's just a lot of things, you know? It's, it's my platform, I it's my choice. Great thing about having your own platform is you do whatever you wanna do with it, you see what I'm saying? So praise the Lord, I just feel like everyone needs to understand that because it's unfortunate, but the assumption can be made that, oh, because we're both black, because we're both Christians, you're gonna help me out. The answer is no. If I feel led to do that, sure. But I'm not going to go to Jackie Ina and say, can you repost me because I'm a black woman like you and I want to, I'm trying to get where you are. No. If she wants to repost me, she will. You know, I'm not going to go to whoever and uh, 
I just think that it's really uncouth for people to do things like that. And I know that not everyone really gets how they are coming across. I don't believe that most people are doing that or asking with malicious intent. I don't believe that. I do just believe that people are just hoping and like, let me just give it a shot. Let me just ask, whatever. Or they just don't know the way the game goes. They just don't know the way this world works. And the days of bartering are over. Been over, okay? They've been over. The days of, girl, you know, we both black. We both got... You know, arching our eyebrows. We both got edges. Can I send you my so-and-so so you can repost it? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. If you'd like to send it, praise the Lord, I'm happy to, to receive it. And if I love it, I'm going to talk about it. If I don't, I'm not going to say a word. If I love it and I don't talk about it, it doesn't mean I hated it. I just didn't talk about it. You know, it, you just never know. And I don't have to. I, and I also, I also don't do reviews. Like, people will reach out like, you know, can I just send you so-and-so and you tell me, <coughs> you tell me what you think. You know, you tell me what you think. You wanna, you want a consultation? Is that what you're wanting? Are you wanting me? To, are you wanting me to consult with you about your product? If that's the case, I have a consultation fee. I mean, again, I am a small business, and I don't believe people really respect that enough. These are small businesses, right? We talk a lot about how brands don't pay this, brands don't pay that. Well, what about small business to small business coming at you wanting stuff that they ain't going to pay for? It's also a problem. I'm just saying. So, you know, just a little PSA, just a little something, just putting it, put a little bug in your ear in case you're listening. Respect you. Respect the hustle. All of it. We, all, we are all on our hustle. We are all on our grind. That goes without saying. But... I do feel like we need to have some more respect for one another when asking for things. For instance, if I right now wanted to go and pick pick the ear of someone who I know is doing really, really well, if I have more than one quick DM question, I need to be ready to pay for an hourly consultation. That's just what I need to be ready to do. A quick DM question, I answer those all the time. I'm not talking about that because I, I just answer them all the time. You know, I got folks who stay asking about, you know, photography and stuff and whatever. And I just answer it because I'm happy to answer it. You see, if I see it, I'm going to answer it. You see what I'm saying? But I'm more so I'm more so referring to the post this for me, review this for me, repost this for me, let me know your feedback. No, no, no. Just a no, you know? So, praise the Lord. Yeah.